make a trade like that. Uh, and you could see the pain in, in the Jets' faces last week, in the Jets fans' faces um, last week after that game, losing to the Bills. And, and, and look, New York football fans deserve better than what they're getting, all right? To have the same record as the Giants when you added Aaron Rodgers is a joke. Uh, it's, it doesn't make any sense. And and so you, you hope they can figure it out. You hope that Aaron Rodgers is right. But let me just say this. If Aaron Rodgers play, because no one talks about this, if Aaron Rodgers play doesn't get better, and it, or specifically in crucial moments, like on the last two last two minute drives of the game to finish the game, to win the game, to ice it, to get back that Aaron Rodgers magic that he's had throughout his career. If that does not make a return, we're going to have to take a hard, long, hard look at Aaron Rodgers, man. There's no one else to blame. Ain't nobody left here. Hey, Mike Williams, you want him gone? He's gone. He ain't run the red line. So you got him out. I mean, yo, if you fine, look at fine. it, if you look at it, the Broncos game, sure, that was a, a wash. Torrential downpour, tough game. Kicker makes that field goal. We're not talking about that game. You got to win that game, Aaron Rodgers, though. No, you got to win that game, yeah. Aaron Rodgers. But oh, that was okay. a tough mm-hmm. game. The the line wasn't blocking. It was just terrible all altogether. The Vikings mm-hmm. game, what happens? The last two games, I'm not putting it on Mike Williams, but if, what happened with the Vikings hey, game? Whose fault was hey, it? Whose fault was it? The Vikings game. He ain't game? at practice right now. What that? What does that say? <laughs> whose fault was it? The Vikings game. Whose fault was that? Who? Who's to blame? No, they didn't play well early on, and that put no, them not in they. Not, not not they. Who? Who? Not they. Rogers didn't play one? well early on, and then we got rolling in the fourth quarter, and then all of a sudden we 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 have a drive to win the game, and a guy is not even aware of what's going on. And then he wasn't aware of what he was doing on, on Monday night. So, yeah, the Devontae Adams trade had to happen regardless of what happened on Monday night. Because you need somebody who has some chemistry. You, Alan Lazard, as good as he's playing, that guy's hands are <laughs> bricks. They're bricks at times. Like, he dropped a pass against the Vikings. He, he's dropped passes over the last couple of years. So, But if things go – a different way this team is flipped it's four and two instead of two and four which is how the league goes but um i'm not too worried i'm hoping that we jump start things sunday night against the the steelers and go from there i mean take it one game at a time so look man i'm just saying there ain't gonna be nobody else to blame if aaron Rodgers and figure this thing out if aaron Rodgers does not play or start playing better football it's gonna be you're gonna have to find a look at him which i would love some culpability for the guy you don't deserve nice things. You don't go out to the media and tell people and tell uh, people, oh yeah, give yeah, my receiver didn't run the red line, which is why we didn't throw that's why I threw the interception. Since when? We we wouldn't accept that from anybody else. We shouldn't accept it from him. But you know, like the guy's a dirt bag. Let's just be real. Let's just be real. Yeah, we the, the, Jets, the Jets sold their souls. That's what they did. Y'all, y'all sat on Satan's lap and said, Here, you know, that's what y'all did. Even though we know Satan don't get grant no wishes. We both you know what I mean. I sold oh, y'all soul. Man. All right, so now we'll see what happens. We'll see if it goes your way. But I'm just saying, if the guy don't play good football, uh, Todd Downing is here, and Nathaniel Hackett is gone. His man, the guy's gone. It's, it, it, but you, you saw know, you saw the game on Monday. Night. You saw the game on Monday night. More emotion. Yeah, yeah, we saw like 30 flags that day. It, was, it felt like I was. We were already in Pittsburgh. How many uh, yellow towels we saw on the field? I mean, it was okay. crazy. Every other play was what undisciplined football team. Yeah, undisciplined. There was a lot of. <laughs> it felt like they wanted us to lose. Like anytime there would be a first down, the like, PIs first down. All right, throw that flag. The PIs anyway. were a bit or were, were ridiculous. I thought there were some calls that went against you that shouldn't have got against you in that game. I give you that. But the illegal shifts, the whole the holding on the offensive line, those calls, man. Come on, we gotta be better. We gotta be better. You gotta be better. And, and I'm gonna tell you again, again, be ready to look at Aaron Rodgers. Is all I'm gonna say because his day of reckoning is coming. This day of reckoning is coming. It's coming, man. I'm telling y'all right now. But, you know, we'll see. I think they're going to beat the Steelers because the Steelers play a running offense from 1975. And Mike Tomlin is just keeps on running the same old nonsense back, hiring Arthur Smith of all people. I don't know what's wrong with that, man. He does a great job. But, you know, I'm going to tell you this right now. I say this. I'll say this to Steelers fans that listen to podcasts, anybody. And I talk about this all the time. I would much rather be a bad football team, a team like the Panthers, a team like the Giants, then be a team that is stuck in mediocrity where you are nine and nine, nine and seven, whatever the record is, 10 and seven. You know what I mean? Like 17 games. Don't, don't, don't be Captain Little Man in the comments. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> a team that's damn near 500, just skating into the playoffs every single year. And oh, we've never been under 500 for the last 10 years. You also don't have a quarterback for the last 10 years. Not a coincidence. 
Great quarterbacks don't hit the market. Dak Prescott didn't hit the market. Jerry didn't let it happen. You know what I'm saying? So sure. it's but <laughs> so so I'm just saying, like, you need to pick pick a direction, guys. We celebrate, we're celebrating mediocrity. We talk about that never being under 500 thing. That little streak is mediocrity because you can't win a Super Bowl that way. And being a one done in the playoffs sucks. So I'm gonna say, so I'm gonna say.